Hey everyone, um, making this video to help out those who are interested in the TV uh, OS. Um, I downloaded the sample code for the TVML catalog, uh, also the Xcode uh, beta 7.1, and uh, I had some difficulties uh, locating the way to add interactivity to your TVML files. Uh, there are several tutorials online, but none of them actually documented the process about going uh, in and adding the interactivity to the button so I just wanted to show everybody here that I successfully achieved this um, and I'm going to show you how I did it uh, first of all let me get the scale right on this so you can see it so this is your standard uh, TVML catalog sample file um, if you go into your alert now I actually have the functionality where I can actually dismiss the modal or I have um, yet to figure this out but uh, I basically made it put up a loading screen that stays up for five seconds and then dismisses and I'll show you the JavaScript code that I used to uh, achieve this so again um, I'm able to dismiss the modal and I can show you that it's not just a default so I have no action set up on these buttons and I go back to here and I can dismiss the modal or I can go and launch another document uh, but I just put the loading screen as a start so uh, to the source code uh, using sublime text um, Basically, what I did was I put it into the presenter file. Um, if you go to the default presenter file that comes in with the source code, you'll see this right here in the load function. It basically grabs the attributes. I put a custom attribute in here. If you look in my alert.xml.js, I have these custom attributes called actions. Um, I have one called true response and one called remove document. Um, I also in this load function included a actions object with two named functions, uh, true response and remove document. And I also included an if statement to check if in fact the particular button or DOM element has an action attribute. And if it does, it simply calls the actions object calls the referencing action from the DOM element from the object and executes the function so that's uh, in a nutshell what I was able to accomplish uh, that I've yet seen online uh, even the documentation is very limited on how to achieve this so I hope that this is uh, gonna help somebody who's learning how to add functionality um, I'll leave this screen up here so you can see what I did for a little while again I simply just added some additional lines of code to the load function in the presenter.js file as well as the individual template files uh, custom attributes on the XML uh, 